Good morning, everyone. Benvenidos todos. I'm here this morning to share scripture uh, with all of you here on this platform. We need to remember that if we claim to know who our God is, if we are stating that we know who his son is, give me that smile alarm, then we stay grounded, brothers and sisters. Don't allow the world's intimidation with their lies, with their tactics to convince us as true followers of God that God does not exist, that God does not keep his word, that what they are following, whom they follow, what they do to their bodies, is the right thing and they're the ones no it's here we come to the spoken written word brothers and sisters and we heed what abba father states he is the true living god as i share scripture remember remind your soul and your spirit no matter what's happening we need to remind ourselves who our god is the god we serve and what he he is capable of doing. I think we're all forgetting. We're forgetting who our God is. So I share this morning, brothers and sisters, I share. I start with Jeremiah 9, 23, 24. Then I'll go to Jeremiah 10, 1 through 16. But there's break breakdowns in between but before before I share I always give glory to you Lord Father always you and you alone and I thank you always always for it is your will for us in the name of your son Jesus and if I a word to those that are feeling weary that are feeling weary where they're trying they're they're being convinced to seek the ways of this world, Father. Give them the strength through your word to hear truth, Father. For you keep your word for your children. In the name above all names, Lord, Father, I give you glory. Keep the word, brothers and sisters. Jeremiah 9, 23 through 24. Thus says the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom let not the mighty man glory in his might nor let the rich man glory in his riches but let him who glories glory in this that he understands and knows me Abba father says that we know him, brothers and sisters, heed the word <laughs> that I am the Lord exercising loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness on the earth. This is who our God is, brothers and sisters, again, that he, that we understand and know him. That he is, that he is. He says, I am the Lord exercising loving kindness, judgment and righteousness on the, on the earth. Judgment. He brings the knowledge, the intuition, the discernment, brothers and sisters, through the word. Through the word, he is our God. Righteousness. We know that it's fairness, it's right, it's good, it's honor, brothers and sisters. It's honor through our God. That's what he brings down. That we need to acknowledge, don't glory the wise, don't glory the mighty, don't glory the rich. We glory in that one whom through the word we know, and that's our God. That is our God. For in this, Abba Father delights, 
says the Lord. 24 is key, brothers and sisters. But let him who glories, glory in me. That I am the Lord exercising loving kindness, judgment. Judgment is key. He has to allow things to manifest so we can go back and see, okay, that's wrong. Abba Father says that's wrong if we go that way. We have his judgment, discernment, brothers and sisters, as it states. Judgment is knowing. It's knowledge of our God. We discern. No, that's not what you're stating. What the world states is not true. Abba Father says we don't glory in the world. We glorify our God and we know our God. How can we edify this world if we serve a God that is a, that he, all he does is exercise his truth in our lives. If we just stop heeding what this world states and hear the voice of our God. And we will see what he states. I'm going to pause it because I have to turn to uh, another book. So please. Thank you, brothers and sisters. It's 1 Corinthians 12, 10. When Abba Father states it here, that I am the Lord who exercises loving kindness and judgment, judgment being discernment, it, in uh, 1 Corinthians 12, 10, dis discernment is a gift from our God. So when you feel it, no matter if there's 20 people against you, but you're, you're discerning the truth in our God, stand firm. It is the gift of God that gives us that discern the discerning spirit. Brothers and sisters, stand firm in the word. Stand firm in our God. As he states, for in this I delight, Abba Father delights when we stand firm and we glorify our God, not the world, brothers and sisters, not the world. I continue Jeremiah 10 verse 1 through 2. Hear the word of the Lord I state it again, hear the word which the Lord speaks. Again, it's present tense. Hear the word of the Lord who speaks to us. O house of Israel, thus says the Lord, do not, he says, do not learn the ways of the Gentiles. Gentiles is un unbelievers, people that call themselves atheists. They're the ones setting these boundaries in this world. These new rules that are convincing people that that is truth. Why? Because they're men of wisdom of the world. They're men of mighty of the world. And that they're men of wealth in the world. No. No, that is not who we glorify, we glorify our Abba, Father God, and this world is glorifying these people. And Abba, Father says, do not learn the way of the Gentiles. Do not be dismayed at the signs of heaven. If we see signs, Abba, Father is trying to exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in this world. We heed his word, brothers and sisters. It's in plain sight. He's exercising so people can see the signs. I'm speaking, Abba Father says. You hear that? That's my loving kindness. That's my judgment. And that's my righteousness. And he says, heed. Hear as I speak. And again, Abba, Father, speaks in present tense. Verse 6 and 7. Inasmuch as there is none like you, O Lord, 
You are great. Your name is great in might. Who would not fear you, O King of the nations? For this is your rifle due. We, he, he has that honor due to him. He's kept us in that covenant of protection, provision, safety, brothers and sisters, with all this that's happening. He has, Abba Father has, because we stay connected to him through his son. And he, he has that due, that rightful due for among all the wise men of the nations. He deserves that acknowledgement, brothers and sisters, not the wise and mighty and rich of the world. No, it's our God. He deserves the honor. He said he gave up his son. His son, can we? Are we able to give up our firstborn for the world? And in all their kingdoms, there is none like our Abba Father God. Not one. But the Lord is the true God. Heed the word. Abba Father is the true God. He is the living God and the everlasting king at his wrath the earth will tremble and the nations will not be able to endure his indignation heed the word those that choose to follow the mighty the wise and the rich from the world heed the word even the earth trembles Trembles because he's the the world, the earth literally sees what we're doing, turning away from God that is his man. These people don't know it. The God that we serve. This is the earth. It states it in, in the word of our God. Even the earth knows we're doing wrong. And still, we see the signs from heaven and we don't turn back to Abba, Father, God. Thus, you shall say to them, this is Abba, Father, speaking, the gods that have not made the heavens and the earth shall perish. Those people that you are following, these people that you all idolize, Abba, Father, speaks. Thus, you shall say to them, the gods that you have not made the gods that have not made the heavens and the earth shall perish from the earth and from under these heavens. That is a kept promise, people. He has made the earth by his power. He has established the world by his wisdom and has stretched out the heavens at, at his discretion. When he utters his voice, there is a multitude, multitude of waters in the heavens. It is that loud roar of the voice of our Father. When he speaks and he causes the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth, that's his power, his mighty power. He makes lightning for the rain. He brings the wind out of his treasures. Everyone is dull hearted without knowledge. Every metal smith is put to shame by an image. Because these people idolize and they make idols for the people that they idolize. Abba Father will shame those people. The, here it's called the metalsmith that made these images. He will shame them by their image, the images that they make. For his molded image is falsehood, and there is no breath in them. They are futile, a work of errors. In the time of their punishment, they shall perish. Heed the word. This, these are verses 14 through 15. Everyone is dull hearted without knowledge. 
Everyone, every metalsmith is put to shame by an image. For his molded image is falsehood. And there is no breath in them. They're not real. It's not alive. We serve a God that gives breath to life to people. And yet we're turning our back to our God and edifying the world. In the time of their punishment, they shall perish. That's a kept promise, brothers and sisters. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the maker of all things. And Israel is the tribe of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Abba Father knows when the new covenant through our Lord Jesus, we are now all Israel. Those that choose to abide in that new covenant, that new shedding of the blood through our Lord Jesus. There's a new covenant. We are Israel, brothers and sisters. The portion of Jacob, the, the inheritance that was for the first chosen people in the old covenant now is the inheritance of the new covenant through our Lord Jesus. But if we heed and do not follow the ways of this world, do not edify the world. We edify and give glory to where it's due. And it's due to our Abba Father God, brothers and sisters, because he gave up his son. He gave up his son for us. So we can have that open door, that open way to him. When we're confused of what this world is stating, we come here. We come here. He says, come to me. I will show you things that you do not know. That's a video that I just shared. Abba Father will show us. He will answer those questions that we have. And he'll give us the strength to continue. Do not edify the, the and glorify the mighty, the rich. And the wise of the world, we edify our God, brothers and sisters. We edify our God. It, he is the true God, as Scripture states. If you see the signs from heaven, it is for His loving kindness. He's forewarning us for His loving kindness. His judgment and His righteousness are the true ways. If the earth, the mere earth, the ground that we walk on knows that it trembles, that the earth sees the evil and the wickedness of the world, that the earth fears of the power of our God, that we can't see it ourselves. Keep the word. It's scripture. It is prophecy from our God telling us, heed my warnings before Heed my warnings, Abba Father says. Hear and see the signs from heaven. He's exercising, brothers and sisters, he's exercising his love, his kindness, his judgment, and his righteousness to his children to turn back to him. Heed the word. Stand strong in the word, brothers and sisters. <laughs>